What's up, Giggler? Carrie, fix the Wi-Fi. Manifest that shit. We can't be managed. <laughs> Ready? What's up, my cheese grater, Gigglers? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful in New York City. It's, no, it's so gorgeous. And when I got here, I was smacked right in the face (gasps) with Chris's thighs because he was standing outside. He was wearing wearing shorts. He had just come from the gym. Before I could even say anything, he said, don't, don't say anything. I thought I had time to go home and I didn't. And so anyway... Yeah, he said, don't. At least send us a warning text if you're going to show up with your thighs out. I was like, I've never seen you not sitting at your desk. I didn't know he had legs. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> know I could even walk. Well, walking here, I stepped on a used condom. But that's just New York City. It's so They funny. tied it. It was a tie. It was, they tied it. And that's nice. And that's called. <laughs> that's chivalry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's Have so funny because I was getting out of my Uber and I saw this girl j- riding by on a city bike with a high ponytail, red hair like yours, shorts. And I was like, if Hannah fucking city biked here because <laughs> it's the first nice day, I'll kick her in the throat. First of all, I don't trust myself to city bike. I can't even, good. I can't drive a car. I wouldn't put, it's, I wouldn't put other people in danger because I think it would be fun for me to city bike for two minutes. I've I'm not n- trying to take out a whole family because I want to breathe. Have you ever city biked anywhere? No. Me I, neither. I feel like New Yorkers are like, we're actually really scared of everything in New York. It's like the non-New Yorkers that are like, look at those bikes. Let's ride them. Yeah, no, no, I'm no. I'm like, no. absolutely not. I feel like a lot of people do ride them too. I know, does, though. does. Really? Well, and not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and lesson learned. <laughs> you can never S- city bike. Speaking of, he's like, oh my God, I got annoyed with him today because, you know, I was walking around my bed, as one does, and I... <laughs> On top of it? Just around it. Oh, okay. I was just walking by it. Okay. And you know how, like, every time you walk by your bed, you have to hit your knee it. so hard oh. at the corner mm. of your bed? I will hit corners. I don't know what's wrong with my limbs. <clears throat> and I hit, like, the bone in my knee so hard that I was, like... I fell to the ground. I fell to the ground. I was lying there. And he's like, babe, are you okay? I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And then it was lingering. Like, it was, like, sore. Yeah. And then I was like... Wow. My knee fucking hurts. And then he was like, stop. And I was like, no, like, it hurts. And he was like, <laughs> my fucking ACL has been ripped open. I have i don't feel bad for you at all. And I'm like, because both of his parents are dead also. So, like, I can't be upset <laughs> over my grandpa. So, it's like, what can I be upset about? What you can- I can't be upset about anything. <laughs> and my knee is fucking hurting right now. I have no sympathy. Blue. Yes. It, yeah, it's probably it, sore. It, like, broke skin. And he like has no sympathy for me because he tore no. his ACL, and I'm like, but that's everyone's fighting their own battles. Now, men like when they get <laughs> sick. Honestly, this past week, Craig was supposed to fly to California, and like two hours before he gets on his flight, he calls me and he's like, I just like I have really bad news, and I'm like, I. Meanwhile, I'm in New York doing my own thing. Okay, <laughs> he's like, I don't. You think- go, who is this? <laughs> yeah. He goes, I don't think I can get on the plane to fly to California because like I'm my nose is so stuffy. <laughs> And I was like, what? Breathe through your mouth. And he, no, he was Breathe like, I'm just like, I'm nervous I'll get more sick. Mm. And I was just like, okay. It wasn't like you, all the things you did no, the last week. No, he had a sniffle. <laughs> he, like, al- his allergies hit, you know? Like, it's just, they can't do anything. Also, oh God. I have a side bang happening. I'm side banging. What does this Today? mean for society? No, no. What is, is the cultural, like, I don't know if we're Influence regressing. you're about to have because I'm scared. <laughs> no, I'm scared. With great power comes great po- responsibility. And, and I was just like, what if I look like I'm going to. I, actually, this is what I looked like in high school, I feel like. I feel like we're all just, just becoming go- who we were in, in 2014. And you know what I realized too is like, I love watching on Netflix like stupid high school shows. Like, it gets me going. Do you think it's because that's when you peaked? <clears throat> Quite possibly. <laughs> like, it was my favorite. Like, everyone must be like, oh, my God. High school was, like, like the worst. And, like, everyone was so mean. And I was like, wait, I literally loved every second of it. Like, I was captain of the cheerleading team, prom queen. My boyfriend was so hot in high school. Like, I loved every second of it. Oh, my God. It's so easy to hate you. <laughs> no, um, I, no I, <laughs> even hearing myself, I'm like, shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. You probably can't read. And that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Not true. And you win some, like, you lose some. <laughs> so I found this old photo from, like, a seventh grade no. prom. 
where I look like a bitch. A bitch. <laughs> I was feeling myself because I had my nana in my ear. Like my nana was, <laughs> she was running your the career, most. You said. <laughs> she yeah. was my manager, my publicist, yeah. and she did my glam. Like I remember her being like, "Sit down, like you're gonna look amazing." Mm-hmm. And I remember think like I was delusional from day one, mm-hmm. but I remember thinking like, when I walk into this dance, <coughs> everyone's gonna turn their head. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like I truly believe, like, the, yeah. like, and you know, my nan was like, "You look gorgeous. I, you, you're gonna be a model. You look gorgeous." No, hi- middle school dances <laughs> were a different. I mean, we talk about middle school dances a little too much on Giggly Squad. <laughs> we talk about grinding, but no, I would go, and then I would always, I was always like, find that one friend that I'd be like, "We should leave, right?" Well, think about it now. Like, they're probably just all sitting there and on their phones. Yeah, because like we didn't have phones at middle school, or dances. they're all doing like. Do they do TikTok dances at <gasps> at dances? Like the hot girls just start doing it like, in unison, and you're like, "Oh, I don't even know what the hot girls are doing. Like, what do I do?" Oh my god, you're like in just... the back of the hot girls trying to follow what they were doing, no. like Grease, but like sluttier. I just remember like wanting to wear like a skinny scarf around my neck and like slow dance. I just remember wanting to grind the fuck out of someone. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of grinding. For like three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of grinding. Speaking of grinding my, a man. my jaw, I've been grinding every night and my jaw is killing me. Wait, really? I'm a grinder. Oh, I didn't know that about you. You didn't know that? I've never, but I've slept with you multiple times and I feel like I've never heard it. I feel like I'm a subtle grinder. Because I used to have a f- girlfriend in high school and every time she would sleep over, I'd literally almost suffocate like her. Like it was like a saw. Because saw-ed. I could hear it. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm like, it's an... I didn't know what it was at first, and I, like, remember getting out of my bed and thinking there was an animal in my room, like, in the corner, and I'm trying to find it, and then I realized like, it was Jessica. my friend. <laughs> Jessica. I'm like, can you shut the fuck up? People were saying that we should normalize more, like, adult sleepovers. Yeah, we should. And I, I agree with that to an extent. Like, especially when you're not, you don't want to go home. Like, it's totally normal just to fall I, asleep. I just, I don't want to sleep in the bed with someone, mm-hmm. but, like, I would totally sleep. Well, let's rework that. I would let people sleep at my apartment. I don't want to go sleep at other Yeah, because when you go to someone else's. Like, we could never have one because we would both be like, okay, I'm going to my own bed. <laughs> Even though we literally slept in the same bed for three summers. Yeah. And you're like, we could never. <laughs> we could literally never. <laughs> Not if our own beds were there. Not Do if you we're know forced I mean? to contractually. Yeah, yeah. Not if it's an <laughs> obligation. Not if you told me I had to do it. Okay, no. What I wanted to say was I kept seeing this thing on TikTok. And the question was, you're trapped in a forest. Mm. Are, do you want to be trapped with a man hunting you or a bear? And that really fucking threw me because every girl they asked, they were like, oh, I think the bear. I saw it. They didn't say I think. Every girl just was went, like, bear. the bear. Yeah. And it's funny because this is, again, my delusional side coming over. I think that I could befriend the bear. Yeah. Like, I'd be you, like. You'd be like, okay, let's come here. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, you, you're be like I have a bear. cat. You're, I have a cat. <laughs> All cat people, <laughs> I feel like, think like that. Because like, if I can make a cat like me, I'm like, I can make a bear like me. Remember when there was like that whole, what was that like whole thing? I think maybe we were in college or maybe like post college where they killed that like, people like couldn't talk about it for years, where they a killed cat? that like gorilla. Oh, Do you remember that? Coco? Yes. Who? Do you, me- do you remember that? Yes. I feel like that would have been a situation where you'd be like, I feel like I could talk to the I don't gorilla. know if it's because also we grew up like watching Tarzan. Like, I feel like if I grew up in the jungle, yeah. I would be, be like boys with like people. Like, I mean, by people, I mean animals. <laughs> wild thornberries did that to you. You wild yeah. thorn. <laughs> no, because I feel, so- I just Wait. think I'm really empathic with animals. I, feel like I just that- feel like animals understand me. I feel like that'd be a really good Halloween costume for you. And a Des is one of the thorn, the thornberries. I was recently thinking that I want to do a Halloween costume that's literally like just a UPS worker. Like, can we normalize that? They already have that. Oh. Um, like sexy ones? No. Oh. No, like an actual <laughs> USPS worker. Because USPS oh. workers scare me. They're my biggest fear. Yeah, no, they have that. Like, people go as... No, like, when I see a bear, I'd be like, okay, first of all, it's adorable. Right. <laughs> Doesn't even know how Can freaking bear- adorable is. Little- have you seen bears' ears? They're fucking adorable. Have you seen those one, Winnie like, the fucking poo. red panda bears <gasps> that are small, and but they want to be, like, show... You that they're attacking, so they try and get bigger, <laughs> but they just go like this, but they're like two feet, and they're adorable. No, see, I, see, like at least like the bears will be funny. 
Right. Why is the first thing you're alone in a forest, you'd be like, okay, well, now I have to cut his dick off. I just with feel the, like the I, man. I could outsmart. <laughs> wow. <well. laughs> Who? <laughs> right, that's the thing. How crazy. No, I feel like I could outsmart the bear. But, like, if... But the, the, I, if the guy is doing drugs or drinking, like, then I can't get I just get feel away. like if the bear got hungry, I would give it my arm. I'd be like, you can eat my yeah. arm. <clears throat> and, like, we're going to figure this out together. Just, like, cuddle with me. We're the man. I'm like, don't fucking touch me. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's... Speaking of something I saw on TikTok, too, this is crazy about men. Hmm. And, like, I don't even want to say it out loud because it's so disturbing. This man goes on and he goes, I just want you guys to know that people say that men are more logical than women, but they actually just lack empathy. Interesting. So it's like they're just literally not thinking about how other people are feeling as much as we are. So they're not logical. They're actually just psychopaths. Okay. <laughs> I wish you didn't say that last part. <laughs> I, just I, really I just wish... spit it across the room. <laughs> I really wish you didn't say that last part because... <laughs> I, oh, because you are like I that. Feel like you're I like, am well, like that. But I do think when you're really close to the, someone and you love them a lot, you will do some selfish things because you don't have to be fake with them. Like you're just being. I just feel as, uh, I just feel as a woman, I'm not as emotional as some. I think there's okay, like a spectrum Grace, can you of cut, everything. Can you cut to last <laughs> episode when she was crying? Going, I've been so emotional lately. <laughs> <laughs> do not bring up JoJo Siwa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes me upset. We like went strong with the Jojo Siwa takes. No, here's the thing. Sometimes like I'll see like a clip of Giggly Squad and like I'll just gander in the comments or like something. Oh. And I'm like, wait, none of what we <laughs> say is serious. <laughs> like, can you believe that they joked about that? I'm like, it's funny because they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, Anywho. wait, this is actually really funny. I'm getting nervous that, not that I feel like I'm like full Gen Z just because like I love TikTok, but I feel like I'm on TikTok as much as Gen Z Mm -hmm. because my attention span Mm. recently, like I'm like, "Uh, uh, okay, why are you talking so slow? Mm -hmm. To the point that (laughs) when now when I'm on FaceTime, if (laughs) you know how you can click the side and speed up TikToks? I was on FaceTime the other day and I went to (laughs) click the side to like speed it up. that's so funny. And then I felt so sad. So you were like, yes, I was like, like okay, go talk faster. So <laughs> Lois will look at her phone and be FaceTiming someone, but not know, and try to swipe past it, like out of it. <laughs> yeah, like, like, okay, okay, okay we're, we're, it. Done. <laughs> we're done. I get it. <laughs> get the point. Enough. Um, no, that's how I feel. But I feel like my, like my attention span, like I can't. Like, it used to get me excited to be like, okay, I'm going to sit down on, like, a Saturday night. Like, I didn't do anything last night. Like, sit down and, like, watch a movie, but mm-hmm. I, I can't. I do think, and I know this is going to sound, like, aggressive, but when you do something physical, like, go to yoga or, like, go for a walk, it's, like, you get out of your head and then time moves a little different. But when you're, like, constantly in your head, like, yeah. you're, like, uh, uh, uh. But when you're walking, you get into kind of, like, a I'm a very daze. skittish. Yeah, you're a little <laughs> general. Yeah, you're a little get- ah. <laughs> Also, people are like, Hannah, stop interrupting Paige. I'm like, I know what she's going to say. Like, I could finish the sentence for her. Here's the thing. We don't have time. <laughs> I am i don't want, yeah, I don't want to finish my Someone own Someone said you, so are, okay, I was gandering in a comment for like too long, that you were speaking slowly and I was speaking too fast. And they were like, I just can't take the, but it's only like. No, that I've never wanted to speed up your FaceTime <laughs> or one of your voice notes. Like, I'm here to I, get to the point. Yeah, I, I like have the shit rate to say. at what you speak. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Because I've been going to college gigs and stuff and hanging out with the Gen Zs, my sisters, my brothers. <laughs> and <laughs> and we're at this, this first time in like the world that mm-hmm. I'm consuming like the same content they're consuming. Yeah. Because think about like our parents... It's the first time, like, we're consuming all the same yeah. music. It's really crazy. Where it's the I, first time our generations are this close. Yeah, and that we're all tech savvy. Yes. And, like, we're going to be adult, the first te- tech savvy, like, grandparents. Wait, that's so crazy to And think. we might not know the newest technology, but, like, we're not going to be, like, how our grandparents were. Right. Rest in peace, grandma. <laughs> Every episode. But also talking about boys and girls, 
I went. To you know what's crazy is like you have one full set of grandparents, like a grandma and a grandpa, that are married to each other and like loved and my you're life. Thirty two years old. That's like very good. You're acting like this now. I mean, I don't have. He's any. like, I don't feel fucking bad. <laughs> yeah, that's what he, when he doesn't have parents either, and I'm like, okay, well, that's not my problem. <laughs> it's literally has nothing to do with me. <laughs> and I'm I'm trying to make this about me, but it doesn't have to do with me. <laughs> Maybe they died. You don't have you're any grandparents? So <laughs> no, I have n- no, I have none. So now I can't. Now I feel bad. <laughs> no, you can bring up your. What, I just had like grandpa and like my nana and papa. <laughs> obviously, like I'm really close to them. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, when they go. <laughs> no, let's. I'm. We're actually gonna take a. Br- we not we're gonna take a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> we won't. Re- I'm not recording Giggly Squad for two weeks when that happens. I'm like, and don't even. Why Don't even we? ask us. We're not even going to send a newsletter. You'll know why. You'll know why. Also, sign up for the newsletter because we do have an announcement we're making like very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> People are getting the one that we Easter egged that everyone knows <laughs> that everyone's pumped for. So I go to these college gigs and I do a Q and A. The questions from these kids are so fucking funny because the girls are savage. They'll be like, you, they always raise their hand, which is so cute. And I'm like yeah. you, and I feel a lot of power. Yeah. I feel like that student teacher who's like, what if I just brought in the TV? And yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she, this girl raised her hand. She goes, <coughs> how do I make my boyfriend jealous? <clears throat> and I was like, you toxic little slut. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll ask like the crazy. You pull shit. down like a whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> you turn on a projector you're like i'm so glad anyone asked it turns into a ted talk the girls ask like the funniest stuff and then every now and then a guy raises his hand the guys will ask me two kinds of things so one guy raises his hand and he goes who would win in a fight a bear or a polar bear and i was like i'm not acknowledging that question Please take a walk around the block. Yeah, come back. do a lot. And like, g- men are obsessed with who would win. Chris, do you, have, do you talk to your friends about question? this? Wait. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was not asking. That was the most Point stupid thing. Point <laughs> Chris, we were not Point asking to win. I was like, do you guys talk about that stuff? And he goes, this is why the bear would win. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, we don't care. <laughs> Wait, is that a real question that you guys like have asked each other? Sure. And will you interchange animals? Yeah. Oh, oh so right. that's like a whole, that's a whole world that we didn't even know they were talking about. That, yeah, right there. That's a whole podcast episode right. for them. No. It's so <laughs> like, I crazy was so, I, sometimes. I was like, first of all, no. Second of all, don't ever ask me that. Then another guy raised his hand. Their faces are on our money. Like, that's <laughs> insane. Like, the men's faces are on our money. Okay? Let that sink in. It's crazy. It's crazy. Chris, would you ever ask that to like a girl on a date if you're running out of questions? So you have a like you know like this isn't a this isn't appropriate. Yeah. maybe just playing around. If I'm really out of stuff. I you know it's crazy. Like I was just trying to think like have I like what questions did I used to ask on you didn't date? ask questions. I feel like I didn't and then I feel like if he got quiet, you just sat in it. Now I'm trying to think like did they ever ask me any questions either though? Like no. No. Well, your first dates definitely Silent. were like wild. Where mine was one woman show behavior. Yeah, I, I was like, like dun, 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 and, 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 and spin. You want a first date, like when the waiter first comes over, you're like, ah, and my opening act. <laughs> the specials, please. I to tell you, I perform the same regardless if I like the man or not. I need to go out there with a fucking laugh. I need to make sure yeah. that he walked away from that date and he was like, that was fucking incredible. See, I feel like I would just get blacked out on a first date. And like if they texted me, I was like, if you can handle me at that, then you deserve. Yes. And we'll some would say that's going. so much better than me trying to make ev- get approval from every single person. And then afterwards <laughs> ghosting them, then being like, why did you ask me about my father <clears> on the <throat> first date? Um, then a guy raised his hand and he said do you like roller coasters? And I was like, again, this is a horrible question. Yeah. But I'm like, I guess I'll answer it. Like, do you have a specific kind you like? And he's like, no. And I was like, do you rec- like? <laughs> do you recommend? <laughs> do you recommend? <laughs> like, do are you recommend like, what's the point of this question? Like, are you trying to like talk to do me? Do you about- want an amusement park? <laughs> do you know when someone asks you something because they want to talk about it? So I was like, yeah. Do you-, do you have an amusement park you like? Do you want to talk about your car's warranty? <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here? <laughs> do you want to sell me life insurance? <laughs> what's going on? So then he goes, no. And I was like, do you like roller coasters? And <laughs> yeah. he goes, no. 
And everyone was like, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Like, boys just do things, like, to be stupid, and then they But he they wasn't even trying funny. to be funny. I think he just, like, was like, I'm going to ask her a question. Because yeah. she said, ask a question. And sometimes it's that simple. What college was this? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, like, my old one that got unaccredited and was like, you're done being a school. Goodbye. People Thank you for playing. People, people don't talk about, about it enough. Just college. <laughs> one day they were just like, we're going to shut down. <laughs> Which, honestly, I was like... No, I, if I, why did you do it when I was there? If I could, I would, you know? They go, who's the famous alumni here? page-coded college. They're like, actually, we're, like, over it, you go, we think. I, I kind of quit. <laughs> like, I'm tired. Are you tired? Because if you're tired, I won't go. I won't go if you don't go. The whole college. It's like we're just not, like, vibing with the school colors anymore, and so we think we should just pack it up. They were like, honestly, school's giving me the ick, and I just, like, don't want to do it. I didn't even know you were allowed to close a college like that. Well, I think they ran out of money. They're a private college that I think... That's so embarrassing. No. <laughs> They're like, sorry, we have a literal shopping problem. <laughs> like, they get an email. How many textbooks did you guys buy? They get an email, and it's like, okay, but, like, the mascot just, like, needed new outfits, and we, who are we to say no? Oh, so you're charging kids, like, $100,000 a year. <laughs> what did you spend the money No, on? what? No, colleges are Ponzi schemes. For sure. Just like legalized Ponzi schemes. For sure. Cults. Speaking of Ponzi scheme cults, what's your thoughts on Coachella? <laughs> the literal I, cults. I never knew Coachella was happening. Like, where am I that suddenly everyone's at Coachella and I'm like, I didn't even know there were tickets. Honestly, we said it last episode, but like, we're not massive concert people, and that obviously extends into festivals. I'd say I'm I'm more not a festival person than I am like a con- like I like a concert. I can enjoy a concert that mm. I like the person. Can you performing. explain what the difference between a concert and a festival is? Because is it basically like a a, a festival? Festivals a multiple concert, acts, multiple concerts, multiple concerts in one at like a fair ground, and people are all doing drugs. And wearing yeah, like, I silly guess. things. And they wear glitter. Yeah, it's very like deserty. But Coachella's been for like a while. This it's is not, my like... thing. The two things that give me anxiety when I leave my house do I have to poop? Yeah. Where's the closest bathroom? Is no. it accessible? And then am I gonna get hungry after I people, poop? People like pass out at Coachella. See, like, like you're in the desert. The second I'm in a crowd of people, I'd be like, where's the bathroom? Yeah. And then when you go and you lose your friends, then you're like, now I'm gonna die. And I don't wanna do anything three days in a row. You, I actually couldn't name something right now that I want to do three days in a row other than be alone. <laughs> like, there's nothing. Here's the other thing. Coachella is so far from even anything that even if something happened and you wanted to leave, you still have to drive like an hour and a half to even get anywhere. I'm so dumb. I, I thought Coachella like was like Wyoming. I mean, it basically is. It's in the middle of Palm Springs. Oh, you know what it is? It's also such an L.A. thing. I know yeah. that everyone flies, but, like, it's very easy for L.A. people. I think that's what it is. And, look, we don't want to be haters. Like, we support all women in the arts. But <laughs> I think it's just, like, turned into this big influencer yeah. thing. But, like, originally, I think it is, like, a, a music festival. But people are hating on it this year. Like, they're saying the lineup's bad. Oh, really? See, yeah. like, I'm so uninterested. I wouldn't even know yeah. who's there. Well, I like when there's tea, so I was like, Okay, now I need to know what the T is. Yeah. I guess because of Taylor Swift and Travis. Beyonce. Did you see Billie Eilish when she was performing? She said, after Lana Del Rey performed, she said, What did she say? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, oh, This goes, is like your. We owe her so much because we were created, a lot of us were created because of her. Half music. of you bitches exist because of her. Did or I talk something. about Billie Eilish documentary last? Yes, you did. Okay, good. Just double checking because. I'll talk about it again. I'm going to say something, too. Like, look, and I just feel like it's a safe space because you said something about Zendaya. And, like, I... No, please. I don't like the way Billie Eilish dresses at all. I am so obsessed with Billie Eilish's no. style. No, I think it's messy. Ah! I think it no, it doesn't make I any sense. I want Zendaya to dress like Billie Eilish. No, <gasps> no she so would look... You so, dare. Look, okay, sometimes Billie Eilish goes, like, a little too baggy for my taste. Yeah, yeah. However, like... Her, how she has fun with patterns <laughs> and then like the jewelry and the nails. Like, I'm obsessed with her. She basically looks like she picked out whatever was on the cl- on the chair clean and she put that on and that's and like that's, created the outfit. And that's creativity. She styles herself just like me. Clear. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> she obviously <laughs> styles herself. Um, I'm officially moving. Officially, officially moving. To Charleston. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, why would you? Oh, my God. I literally just peed my pants a little, I think. My stomach just sank. You acted like I changed the ticket or something. You were like, no. <laughs> Did you call my building and say that I didn't want to move in I there? Go, actually, she's trying to go to I Charleston. canceled it. I called your landlord. The amount of times Paige gets asked if she's mm-hmm. going to move to Charleston over the last, like, literally the second you met Craig, mm-hmm. are you, like, okay? No, like, the minute the I met minute Craig, you they're, met like, him, they're like, what are you doing in New people York? People even ask what your name is. They go, are you moving to Charleston? <laughs> Some people are really nice about it though, and they're like, "I we, like we don't really like care, but like we just really want you to move there." And I'm just like, "Guys, um, m- but you are." Meanwhile, moving. I'm like home making a Pinterest board of like <laughs> <laughs> your future apartment yeah, in New York City. I'm like, sorry, you're, I'm really busy. Your your tiny apartment in New York City <laughs> instead of having a pool and a hot tub. I'm like, what happens if we live in this closet? Um, <laughs> I'm moving, and I are stressed. You know what? I'm oddly not. Well, mm-hmm. one, because I feel like I hired people to do everything. So I was just like, <laughs> okay, how do we fix this? No, like I hired obviously You're like, like I have my 37 movers. men to move my stuff. Hired my movers, but I also hired like my organizational people. Oh. Imagine it done. But I've never done a move with them. I think it'll be so great mm-hmm. because they don't have to undo anything. Like they just. Well, the day before or like a couple days before I actually move, we do like an edit. Edit. Of, like, my current apartment, which And this I'm... is perfect timing because this is spring cleaning moment. No, the stars could not have aligned more. Yeah. And my vibe for my new apartment, French modern. <gasps> French provincial modern. You say provincial? Provincial. I like that. I, I don't was really know what it means. I was thinking, like, <laughs> I love, like, the mixing of aesthetics. Yes. So where I, like... It's like modern, but also vintage. Yes, that's my. And vibe. for you, I really want a Parisian, yeah, like girliness, yeah. But then random like metals sometimes. I want it to be like if Bridgerton was set in New York City. Cunty Bridgerton. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Cunty Bridgerton. Cunty Bridgerton. Put that on your Is architectural m- digest. My vibe. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, that's really exciting. Yeah, and I'm feeling like this is so not me, but like I'm really feeling inspired by Baby Blue recently. Like for nails? No, just like in general, like in my decor. I don't know why. You definitely but I want need like a powder baby. blue, yeah, powder bathroom. blue something, or like a glam room. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm so excited. So I might just like vlog some stuff and then yes, put it on Giggly. I feel like part of being an adult is realizing that your home is something that you can have fun with and yeah you realize something ha- clicks that you're like oh I can make my home whatever I want it to be yeah because when I was younger I thought like you put a bed yeah and a lamp <laughs> and then you live in it yeah and then you wait until you, you have to move to the next no place. it's crazy like decorating your space is crazy because you're like I have do I like it I have to look at it every day I, I also, don't know I had like mature friends who like at 21 were like fully decorating their rooms yeah. and I always felt like jealous because I was like oh my god they enjoy their life um, <laughs> they no, there's, like when people are like, oh, it's like you're very into nesting. Yeah, I've never nested. Really? Never. But I think. Until Des. Yeah, I was just going to say, I feel like you nested I've hard nev- in your Hamptons house. I've never nested in my life to the point that it, people are like, you're living in a are hospital you room. Nest? <laughs> yeah. So I, but then I saw, went to Des's place and I was like, call a dumpster. We're throwing all of this. I don't know. We're what nesting came, people. I got, I was ordering pillows. Yep. It was, I think it was, like, hormonal. But isn't it, like, there's something, I don't know, very, like, comforting about it. Oh, my God. It feels so good. But I'm also... Do you have a Pinterest? Yes. The, I, the way I am with fashion and with decor, I'm the same way with home decor. Because, like, if I s- see it, I know when I like it. But yeah. I don't necessarily know how to make it. But, like, if someone was, like, which one do you prefer? I'd be, like, definitely that. But I don't know how to like put things together that well. You're decisive. I'm decisive and I have an eye. <laughs> For what? I don't know. But I have an eye. I do. <laughs> um, I'm going to put make Grace put our Pinterest in the newsletter. Because I feel like I do actually a lot of pinning of like So decor. I'm obsessed with Bauhaus decor. 
Bauhaus. B a u h a u s. B a u. Bauhaus decor okay. is like everything to me right now. Can I guess what it is? Yeah. Bauhaus decor. I feel like it's like <laughs> <laughs> Bauhaus. <laughs> Can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> um. <laughs> I feel like it's like I feel like it's like Copenhagen girly, like influencer girlies, like their apartment decor. Yes, Bauhaus. A hundred percent. Okay, wow. Hun- you nailed it. Is house H A U S H A U S? Yeah. So I house. think it is. I actually don't know what <laughs> Do you it like is. that pronunciation. House. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it's European. Yeah, <laughs> and that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, it's European. but I found it on I guess Pinterest. What's with us that we're like? We want everything to be European, but yet we're like, we'll dumb Americans. Literally die in New York City. <laughs> we'll die in New York City. <laughs> I'm going to Paris. When? And London and <gasps> Dublin in May for comedy shows. Wait. And I'm bringing my mom. And we've never been to Europe together. Wait, you're going to love it with I her. Know, I know. But my mom is like, you she, guys are going to eat so She much. wakes up and she's yeah, no, ready she's... to go. We're walking. We're no, walking. We're walking. We're, walking. <laughs> we're, walking. we're planning. Oh, we're you guys are walking. She, like, naps are not even like brought up. Like if I bring up yeah. a nap, she'll pretend she didn't hear me. And we'll just keep yeah. walking. Now um, my mom will say, like preface before she comes down and she'll say, now I want to do something. And I'm like, bitch, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think you are? Sending in requests? I'm going to put Bauhaus decor in the newsletter so you guys can see. I feel like it's like funky shaped couches and stuff. Yes. Yeah. And then there's like, there's metal. It's very like vintage, but mm. like cool. It's just, How a plant. How long are you going to be in each <laughs> So city? we're doing Paris for literally two days. Mm-hmm. Then I have to go to London for two days for two shows. And then we're spending the week in Ireland. Is Des going to Ireland? And Des is going to be there. My dad's going to meet us there. And it's the Wait, first time my parents so have ever nice. been to Ireland. Yeah. So, oh my God, that's so fun. And like, my, I've like never traveled to Europe with my parents. So it's going to be like very fun. A lot of admin. Does Des have anyone in his family, like females in his family that have red hair? No. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was important to you then. No, you were like, I have a really important question. <laughs> There are a lot. I don't want to put you on the spot here, but um, (laughs) not to Barbara Walters you, but (laughs) no. There's a lot of like the most gorgeous redheads ever in Ireland. No, yeah, you're like, oh, that's a real redhead. Yeah, I just had a moment where I was like, wait, could you potentially have a redheaded child with like blue eyes? But no, you couldn't. Sorry. I mean, maybe I don't. I don't really know how redheads are created. I think it's like. Genetic. A lineage or something. <laughs> no, I feel like he, if like he said, oh yeah, if you said his if mom had red hair, I'd be like, oh my God. Yeah. You're like probably going to have a child with red hair. I've, do you know growing up like how mean people were to, to people redheads. with red hair? Yeah. Did you, Chris, did you grow up with the whole like gingers have no soul? That is like fucked up. You know what's crazy is I feel like I did And then no one ever said gingers do have a soul. Like no one ever apologized. As someone that was just like an ally Mm -hmm. to everyone, (laughs) my best friend in high school, in fact, had red hair. But like she was stunning, like one of the prettiest girls ever. And I like, I so I feel like I didn't ever have that. Like I never heard that. Oh, wait, I wanted to tell you because I feel like this is like so for like the Hannah girlies of the world. I got sent. You're like, I, th- I would never. <laughs> <laughs> I would never be associated with this. I tried it one time. I threw it out, and I was like, you know what? Like this, fucking Hannah. Um, it's this brand. I think I got sent it in like a random PR package. H A N N I, Hanny. She like Magani. <laughs> but I think they're like stealing your brand. But basically, it's like. Okay, they sent me this, like, in-the-shower moisturizer, but then they also sent me this, like, spray bottle, and I thought it was just, like, you know, like, when brands were, like, oh, this is hydrating mist, and you're, like, yeah. that's fucking tap water that you put in a cool bottle. Yeah, like, and, like, I, I miss my face Yeah, when like, I, I don't care it. about it. But I was reading it, and theirs is, it's, like, a sprayable lotion. Oh. But it's not, like, lotion feeling, and it's mm-hmm. not, like, watery feeling. But, mm-hmm. like, if you hate... Putting on lotion every time you get out of the shower, this mm-hmm. it's amazing. 
Women in STEM. Women in STEM. I'm going to put it in the news article. I think I Whitney obsessed. Cummings was talking about on her podcast. She was asking people, like, do you put lotion on after you shower? Every single time. I don't. I think. The more you put it on, the drier you get. Exactly. I think it's just like chapstick. Because when I get out of the shower, <laughs> I'm never, my skin is never dry. But you know what is dry? Tell me. My face. And I, I have, have to, to put, put it on my face. On. And that's the only place I've been putting moisturizer on. So I think the government <laughs> is involved. Like sometimes my my skin is so dry, like my it hurts if I don't. And put as an on, Italian, that shouldn't, shouldn't be happen happening to you. We are naturally very oily individuals. Yeah. So I have a great grandmother somewhere rolling in her grave. Rolling in her grave. But my my mom does put. But I thought I always thought my mom did it because she's a mom. That's what moms do. <laughs> Like, she's always, always lotioning, lotioning her hands. Is my Why? mom always lotioning her hand? Where did you get the lotion from? Why is it all day long? When have you never not lotioned your hand? St. Ives re-enters the chat. Saint get Ives. out of here, St. Ives. Wait, a girl DM me and she goes, by the way, I was the St. Ives <laughs> social media manager. Yeah, it was a girl. And I said, we love you. Yeah, I'm so to that. Shout out to St. Ives. <laughs> we apologize to the Academy. Because St. Ives was iconic. No, iconic. Um... No, I don't know why that is that moms are like always. Who told you to lotion after the shower? I don't know. Well, now I feel like big pharma. Like <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? I was really late to shave my legs because someone told me like once you start, you can't stop. <laughs> but like you do it because you're hairy. So I was like, I'm not going to start. And it's like people are like, you have the hairiest legs I've ever seen. heroin. <laughs> Don't try it, kids. Do you remember, like, when you couldn't, like, girls, like, weren't allowed to shave their thighs? I mean, you no, still, still abide by that rule. No. If someone tells me something and then they don't update it, I will never change. I, yeah. to this day, did not, no one said you should start shaving your thighs. When, <laughs> so when you start, you just shave, we just shave our shins. Well, I think, like, Because when we're not that hairy on our thighs. I always thought that it was like moms didn't let girls do it because your thighs are like more sexual. <laughs> that's the most like that's Catholic what I guilt shit I've ever heard. She's like, we have a long skirt to cover up our hairy legs. No, that's like what Jesus. I thought. Like, oh, you like don't you're not gonna shave anywhere close to like to make it like sensual to like have so the sex? hair can block the penis. <laughs> But I was so hairy in, like, third grade. My mom was like, shave it all. <laughs> Do you remember the first time you heard your friend was wearing a thong? You were that friend. Um, <laughs> you were the friend. No, I don't remember I remember that. my friend being like, I'm wearing a thong. And me being like, <gasps> like, I thought she was going to the strip club. I was like, are you going to the strip club after this? <laughs> <laughs> I went to Victoria's Secret. And I, like, so I go, this is what they wear at the strip club. It's so funny, and I would have been like you too, except that I had like a best friend my whole childhood who's ten times worse than me. At, could, I, than I go, could except ever I be. had a best friend. No, <laughs> I had a friend who like taught me all of these. So like see, I was I, the older yeah, sister. See, I was you, and like she would be like, "No, no. Paige, that's like not what a blowjob is, you <laughs> idiot." And I'd be like, "Oh my god, no, what is I was it? the blind leading the blind out in these yeah. streets with just me and my brother, and he was no help." But yeah, I remember shopping at Victoria's Secret, and they had crazy thongs. Like, remember, how does a thong that has, like, multiple strings become yeah. sluttier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it has more fabric, but looks insane. <laughs> like, what are girls doing with that? Yeah. You, they're dangerous. You can I'm strangle yourself. I kind of think, like, if there, that was, like, a moment. Like, oh, my first thong. I mean, I still haven't had that moment. No, that's insane. I feel like it wasn't because I feel like I, the first time I wore a thong was like specifically for an outfit because like I couldn't have like an underwear. Again, Obviously. you were like, I don't subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> not my network, not my forte. I want us to come up with the list next episode of people's style that we love. Okay. Just to really have a chart. Like I need to visualize it. Like a flow it. chart. Yeah, because like I'm obsessed with, I love Ice Spice. <laughs> I love Billie Eilish. Julia Do Fox. Do your top three right now. Off the top of your head, like who, not like of all time, just like recently I also have, like, of who you've seen on TikTok. I also have like random influencers who I think are really cool, like all the girls in Berlin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Every girl that lives in Berlin is fucking killing the game. Like right, just right. off the top of, of my head that I like have been seeing on TikTok, yeah. whatever. I'd say Zendaya, Victoria Beckham. Uh-huh. 
Uh, oh, you have cut people. Anne Hathaway. Oh, I think Anne Hathaway has been looking amazing. Anne Hathaway has been crushing. Incredible. Yeah, um, yeah I Spice Spanish <laughs> and and Julia Fox. Yes, but Julia Fox, I feel it's like, more is more artist. performative. Yes, no, I know. It's not really like a fit. It's a piece of <clears> art. <throat> um, I like when people look like it's the apocalypse. I'm, like, obsessed with an apocalyptic look. <laughs> yeah, but for every day. Like, yeah, one time, like, once in a no, while. No, every day is the Berlin girls. Got, I, yeah, just you're like a your Copenhagen Berlin, girl. Like. And then at night, it's it's the world's ending, which it is. I could see you being a Copenhagen girly. Like, have you ever seen, you should do that TikTok sound where it's, like, dressed like a Copenhagen girly. Okay, pajama pants and yes. then, like, that. And yes. then see what outfit well, you Well, people together. have been calling you out on the internet because Ma- you... S- <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Because You're just gonna bring it up like that. <laughs> like, yes. You, you, every now and I then. Can, hold on. <laughs> Let's just. And my people, this is, this I mean, is so our literally friendship. everyone. I'm literally giving you a compliment. And like, oh, you're so Copenhagen. You could do that. Too. You're like, oh, speaking of that, everyone actually was telling me they hate you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were wearing like a Copenhagen outfit, like the, Adi- the Adidas pants with just oh, a yeah. random top. And then the com- some of the comments were like, very. She looks like she just threw random stuff on her body or something. And then yeah. someone was like, she looks like Hannah. Hannah. Yeah. And for a second, I was like, no one's ever said I, that Paige dresses <laughs> like me. And then I was like, oh, because they hate me. Because <laughs> they don't understand what's happening. And I said, it's called high fashion. No, I high loved fashion. that outfit. No, you, and when and you, I when you wear on, baggy clothes, the way it. I'm obsessed with you, like Wait, you in a baggy. Mm. It's so funny because... Craig's mom texted me last week and was like, hey, Paige, like, obviously. Well, she wants you to cover up because you're being <laughs> slut. She's like, can Sometimes you? Sometimes I do think, like, oh, my God, my boyfriend has a mom. Every time you wear a turtleneck, she's like, hey, I really like that outfit. You should do it more often. She texted me and she was like, obviously, you always look pretty. But, like, I just want to tell you, you, I really like when you wear athletic wear. And I was like, that's so oh, nice of she you. She just <laughs> told you you need to work out. She was like, maybe you should maybe put a sneaker on and a legging and see if you can walk outside, and get some stop air with the mini skirts, you thirty-one-year-old <laughs> bitch. I do have to say, skorts for summer. <coughs> Let's normalize skorts. I love a skort because skorts, you're free. <clears throat> you can yeah, you let can the labia fly. Like yeah. anything can happen. You don't or have to worry skirt, about anything. Just like yeah, you could sliding up there, man spread, mm-hmm. and it's very tennis. You can actually also. Put stuff up your your score, because that, that's what tennis players do. We put the ball <laughs> in the score. Yes. Also, I didn't address this. But remember, two episodes ago, I went on a rant and I was like, "No, um, no one ever quotes Giggly Squad because we're so unserious." Yeah, and then they wrote a full article. About <laughs> <him>. <laughs> they said Hannah Burner <laughs> thinks Sunday is bad for women's sports, <laughs> and it was like a giggler, and the, and she like, and she no. literally messaged me like, "LOL," and I'm like, "The gigglers are." <laughs> fucking with me they think it like it was hilarious no it was hilarious <laughs> and then I started thinking like what if like just our whole our whole persona was like a bit like <laughs> like, like uh, Stephen Colbert yeah like <laughs> just our whole thing was just a bit on the internet and on Instagram the only time we were really ourselves was Giggly Squad Pod and like our live shows like every article that was ever written about us was just fake but that's what it is no, that's what it was. Like, but people saw that and probably were like, "That's Hannah how fucking it is. hates Zendaya." Yes. Well, this is the like, problem. Tone and context are very important, and that's something someone says after they get in trouble. But like, <laughs> the power of Giggly Squad. <laughs> we had an Us Weekly article written for millions of people because Giggly Squad was funny, <laughs> which is so Giggly quoted or coded. Like, this will be funny. Could also destroy like, her the life. The giggler was like, "Hannah wants me to do this, even though this is bad. I will do this for Hannah." I knew. I thought for a fact we were getting an email from like one of our agents or managers being like, "Guys, we know you think it's funny." You're like, they're like, "Can you not talk shit on Zendaya, who's fighting the good fight every day?" Oh, God. But I like having no, imaginary beef with people for no reason. Like you know when people actually hate someone, like that's annoying. But I like having made up like. That Zendaya is bad for women's sports. Yeah, like John Mayer is <laughs> actively hilarious. still against this podcast, and he has been since day one. <laughs> no I didn't forget. No one's talking about it. <laughs> We're not going to forget when <coughs> you go live when we go live. That's a strategic marketing play by your PR team. Right. <laughs> Wait, so I, I did Sheena's pod last yeah. week, but I told her, I was like, I don't watch Bravo. 
I don't know what's going on. And she was yeah. like, don't worry about <clears throat> it. So she would ask these questions based on something that happened to be like, Hannah, what would you do? And I was like, <laughs> I'm so scared right now. <laughs> like what? Like she, I, I guess there's a storyline about like sharing location. She's like, do you think it's weird if someone knows your location? And I was like, if my mom didn't know my location, I would never know where I am. Yeah, I see. I have don't have any context context either. But yeah. I but that is a great question. And I didn't know if it was like her and Brock or if it was like I think it was her and someone else. I I don't have anyone's location, but that's because I literally don't have the capacity in my brain to like. I barely know what I'm doing. I don't even know what yeah. other people are doing. I definitely have other people's locations. I don't. <laughs> care about them <laughs> <You're> <laughs> i don't give a fuck where they are um never have never once in my life checked ever my mom has mine yeah my mom has mine and i have hers and sometimes i do check to make sure that bitch is home you know <laughs> is she not like if she's home? not answering me i'm like oh. interesting uh, you're home <laughs> just, like zooming out um just making sure you're not in a lake but you know what's funny is like I've never I've never had a boyfriend's location and they've never had mine. Either. I like being surprised. <clears throat> like pop in unannounced. Yeah, I feel like now that we're like in our 30s, location is like strictly f- safety. A hundred percent. You know, like Yeah. Where like if I was in my twenties, I'd be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I wouldn't let anyone have my location. You put an air tag in his shoe. <laughs> If air tags were a thing when I was 22, I'd be arrested. I'd be arrested for harassing and trespassing. And <laughs> Is that a thing, harassing and trespassing? and trespassing. And just all around. I'm like, sorry, he shared his location. Side note about Coachella. The, the VIP sections are, like, wild. Wait, Did you notice I've been that? seeing that. They're like, wait, general admission is, like, looks so lovely, honestly. Well, VIP, like, they were showing Taylor Swift. She's, like, in there, a crazy crowd. Yeah. I mean, is I wonder why that is. Because normally when you see VIP, it's just, like, them standing in, like, a huge, vast, empty area, like, bobbing. You know why I probably hate, like, musical things like that? Like, musicals and, like, like festival Anything shit that like that? people joy. Yeah. <laughs> Things that people can connect around. I hate that. <laughs> I rather laugh. Mic drop. <laughs> Mic. Like no, you know why? Because we. I don't want to feel an emotion. No. You, like you know when Olivia Rodrigo, who I'm obsessed <laughs> with, by the. Actually, I love her style. I love her style. <laughs> okay, well you can't have her style because that's too. Like you say, I'm too old. <laughs> Do you just call me? An ancient wildebeest. Sorry, I just ate. I'm so ageist. She's too, dresses a little too teeny bopper. Well, yes, obviously it'd be more mature, but, but like, like I appreciate yeah. the aesthetic. Okay. Sorry, now that we got past <laughs> <laughs> Our relationship is forever changed, it feels like. I think the podcast has finished. <laughs> think- Guys, it's been a great four years. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do We old. tried to push through. Imagine people like it was definitely the Olivia Rodrigo comment that happened in 2024. <laughs> I genuinely feel like we're gonna be 95 and still be doing Giggly Squad. And I'm gonna be like, I like Olivia Rodrigo. You're, you're, gonna, like, you're 87. Years you're gonna old. be like, rest in peace, to my grandpa. I'm gonna be like, bitch, you're almost with him. <laughs> So the Red Jigo concerts, everyone's crying. And I'm yeah. like, I'm not going to pay money for my childhood trauma to come out through my eyeballs. Also, like, I feel like I don't need someone to sing me a bunch of lyrics for me to be like, oh, my God, that's how I feel. Because my brain's always going. Yes. You know, like, I'm always yes. working it. Like, yes. I, I know. I've internally listened to 10 mental. There's two types of girlies. Songs, songs, sad songs. Yeah. You fought for your life. To <laughs> Sorry, I just had a stroke. No, speaking of, I woke up in the dead of the middle of the night last night at 3 a.m. thinking I had a stroke because my eyebrow was twitching. And I was like, oh, this is how I go. I'll have a stroke in the middle of the night. No one will find me for, till the Wait, morning. your eyebrow woke you up? Yes. I was like, how dare you? <laughs> no. I pluck you. I bring you to get service. I tint you. You're gonna wake me up, like up and down, or like no, in and just, out. Like, twitching a little bit, and I was like, "Oh my!" 
well, I'm having a stroke, clearly. But it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out to be a false alarm. My mom was like, why? Like, you don't. Did you not- call her at 3 a.m.? <laughs> no, I called her in the morning. And I was like, something really scary happened. Like, <laughs> I thought I was having a stroke or a brain aneurysm. She was like, you're not just going to have a brain aneurysm or a stroke. She goes, and then I was like, but that's <laughs> everyone like who's ever had a stroke. If you have to ask, did I have a stroke? <laughs> I don't. And you're still not having a stroke. I feel like you didn't have a stroke. That's. Well, that's just not safe. <laughs> I do. <laughs> not true. <laughs> I think with laughter, <coughs> you laughter is like a one time where you're not thinking, and I yeah. you could just like, and look, there's two types of girls. Is what I was saying. <laughs> That's, <laughs> what was. That's what it was. That's what it was. Two types of girls. When you're on the bus going to school, someone starts singing, and then they start a whole harmonious acapella group. Yeah, and I never felt comfortable joining in and then like seriously singing a full like three seconds in I'm like okay we're not singing a full song oh my god I didn't know there was a person sitting there and I actually just got really scared like you were setting us up I was like I think I think setting us up for what to get murdered I was like <laughs> I feel like they would have murdered us already it's like let's wait for the end of the pod yeah. let's see let's what wait they say for the punchline at least <laughs> um would you you know girls love they would be like <laughs> At first, I thought I knew you, where you were going with this, but I'm going to say I've never been on a bus where all the girls started singing. Have you ever just been around and some girl's like, no, um, she's so lucky, she's a star, and then someone comes in and she cry, cry, and then they're all singing, and then you're like, I don't feel like I was invited to it, I also don't think I can sing that well, and then you're... No, and I went to cheerleading camp. Like, no, I've never been on a bus. You know what? I didn't do a team sport. That's what it is. I was never in the place for someone to potentially start break harmonizing. Into song. <laughs> yeah. No, girls would break. Chris, the girls break into song, right? Yeah. I feel uncomfortable singing with people. Well, it shouldn't happen. <laughs> like, I don't ever. Want, okay, let's just say this here and now. Giggly Squad is our witness. I, for the foreseeable future, <laughs> for the rest of my life, I never want to be in a situation where I might have to join in and sing <laughs> to anything, ever. I don't even really sing happy birthday when it's someone else's birthday. Like, I let the crowd do it for that person. Yes. I wrote a card. I don't need to fucking sing. Yes. Grow uh, up. Also, like, when you're in a relationship, I feel like there's no reason to go anywhere. <laughs> To go anywhere? What do you like? For I was thinking the only the, what I would love to go to is like a Drake concert, like Lil Wayne. But like yeah. even when you're there, like who are you gonna grind on? Like I would like I'm to go still to grind. I still grind. Yeah, like I like going to like rap because when you're when you're like then bopping, you know you're, like, you're going mm, home mm. and having sex. That's what it is. I feel like yes. <sighs> I do like sporting events, <laughs> <laughs> but again. Sometimes it's too long. Let's do a 32-minute basketball game. Yeah, I'm not. How did we even get How did we even get here? <laughs> Let's change the NBA <laughs> right now. Oh, yeah. Just have the WNBA. <clears throat> oh, my God. Did I just delete the Giggly Squad note? No, good. I have a huge fear of doing that. Why? It's What's good. the Veronica living alone TikTok? <clears throat> oh, my God. I saw this girl. She made a TikTok. Her name was Veronica. I'll, like... I, that's what I got from what you what you wrote. Post the TikTok. And she just said something that made me, I had just never thought about it before. And she was like, I forget how old she said she was. Maybe she was like 30 or like 29. And she was like, I just realized why I love living alone so much. And she was like, because I'm the first woman in my family <gasps> to ever be allowed to live alone. Like, she was like, my mom never lived alone. She met my dad and got married. Her mom was obviously not allowed to live alone. Her mom's mom definitely couldn't live. Like, we're the first generation to live alone. You know, that just got me so pumped up. Like, sorry, I'm just, like, doing it for the girlies. Like, Like, in my family. I'm just breaking generational trauma. No, breaking generation. Because our daughters will never even have the thought of, I can't There's a alone. potential that they can't live alone because there will be no one. And you immediately were living alone. I'm the first person in my family to even move away. Yeah, that's like crazy. Like, I, yeah. <coughs> like, you had to consciously decide, I want to move into New York City. Con- no, I had to figure out how to man- manipulate my dad. Oh, you tricked for, him. Yeah, to trick him into thinking he let me go. 
Me and my mom had to like cook up a plan. What was the plan? It was basically my mom being like, I'll just tell him that you're going. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mom, come on. She's like, yeah, no problem. You leave on the 17th. <laughs> what did you write about Therabody? The greatest thing ever. <laughs> no. Okay, first of oh, all. you hurt yourself. No, Therabody sent me, like, the leg things. Like, the recovery. Oh, like, the full leg? Like, the full leg. And I was like, there's no way they meant to send this to me. Like, this is so crazy. So I said to Craig, I was like, I'm just going to ship this to your house because, like, I'm never going to use this. Um, worked out two days in a row, and all of a sudden I'm like, should I run the NYC marathon? I can <laughs> I could run a marathon right now. <laughs> I think it really does work. Like, my legs Wait. are not sore at all. I thought you were going to say, I haven't worked out at all, but I just put it on. It feels good, because that's what no. I would do. No. No, you need to the greatest thing that ever was invented. I was like, this is like a scam. There's no way this actually works. I feel like people don't talk enough about the like annoyance of having to ask your partner to massage you when you're past the um honeymoon stage because like during the honeymoon stage they will literally like pluck the hair off your toes yeah but then like four years in you're like can you i have like a knot on my back and they're like well you have to really be strategic about it yeah. Like when you ask yes, what time they of have day to be in is. the perfect Yeah, because they're like mode newborn babies. And if it's yes. almost feeding time, it's no. too scary. You can't do that. You can't well, like get nine I, PM. I will literally be like, Yeah, I'll give you a massage and after three seconds I've I'm I stop. I'm got distracted yeah. by something. So the therabody's great. Look at this I'm is trying not to think an if ad. I've ever <laughs> also I got it from my dad for his birthday. It's like the greatest no, thing I've ever. No, I talked about a lot of products this episode, and they're really none ad. No, I will say this about the TheraBody. When I was putting it on, I was like, what idiots are spending $700 on this? There's then you're like, no oh. way. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> I live here now. It, well, and then a lot of people like to take their legs and put their legs up. Mm-hmm. But I like to watch TV so that I don't know. Like, I can't see the TV if I'm lying against the wall. No, I need to watch the TV. This is strictly <laughs> this is strictly a couch thing. Also, I bought one of the LED light masks, yeah. and I was like, I can do this for three minutes a night. You never cannot do get it. myself to do it. Yet. I do it fifteen minutes a day. When do you do it? Different times depends. Yeah, I have to just get into it. I just I like don't usually at night, like after my skincare is all done, I'm just laying in the bed waiting to fall asleep anyway. That's self love. I just put it on. Sometimes I, I keep it next to my bed. Yeah, so that you can mine just is grab like it. My, I think it's in a closet right now, so there's like literally no <clears throat> chance. What documentary did you watch? The Brandy. Um, <gasps> I'm watching Melville that tonight. One. I'm watching that tonight. It's very interesting. I never shopped there because it never fit me. I never shopped there either. Maybe I have like a t-shirt. Well, from when you there. walk in, it looked like the place exploded. I feel like I missed. Like Brandy Brandy Melville was not a thing, I feel like when we were in high school. It was I feel like it was like when we were got to college or late after right after college. Yeah. So like I feel like we missed I just remember we people talking Abercrombie. about it. I'd walk in and it was like a t-shirt, but it was like $90. And I was like. Yeah, and it was a one size fits all. And they were like literal baby tees. Exactly. But they still haven't like, like there's. Like, so was care. it a good bo- documentary? It was a really good documentary because it's just very, it's all very bizarre. Like they didn't really know who was running the company for a Brandy. while. <laughs> yeah. Who's like, Brandy? No one. That's like a made up, a made up name. It's like this guy and he just sounds like a creep and like the working and it's just weird. That's what I'll like get into. It. <laughs> she goes, it's so disturbing. But like they're still just there. Yeah, like operating. There's a store right in Midtown. Yeah. Or in Soho. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> they do have good basics. <laughs> <laughs> like if you ever need just like a stupid white tank, they have them. But I don't support it. <laughs> <laughs> But I've been on the road. Yeah. I was in Ohio. I was in Ohio. I was in Miami. I was in, no, this last week I was in Connecticut and then I was in Niagara Falls. Oh, (laughs) this is so. So I texted Hannah and I was like, hey, I'm going to this workout tomorrow at 12. Do you want to come? She goes, sorry, can't. I'm in Niagara Falls. And I go, "Mm, I feel like that's a lie. You know when someone's giving too much information that you're like, that's made up. I was like, okay, sure you are. <laughs> but no, it did. And then you sent a picture and it did look like an AI background. I was like, okay, you're not actually. In- also, Hannah, gun to my head. 
If someone said, where's Niagara Falls? I have no fucking idea. Guns to my head if someone said, what is Niagara Falls? I have no idea. So Isn't it just like a dam? Okay, so I was in Ro- <laughs> <laughs> I went to Rochester. This is your area, upstate New York. Yeah, but I don't know where it is. Like, we've in, never been there. I was in Rochester, and I asked some girls, like, are you from here? And she's like, no, I'm from Rome. And I was like, oh. And then she was like, Rome, New York. it's like an hour away. And yeah. I was like, okay, not the brag For being from upstate, but also I have the mom that I have. We've never done any, I've never, like, even been to the Adirondacks. So Rochester is very close to Canada border. Yeah. So, and then I guess there's Niagara Falls on both, on America side and Canada side. Okay. You guys, this is, like knowledgeable yeah so, so i okay. but i can't uber and it's only an hour and a half away so i can't uber a, to canada no because ubers aren't allowed to just cross the border oh. so i had to get like a car service mm. go through the border break in the border <laughs> <laughs> save canada and i single I, just, I don't know these hotels like they put us up at hotels so i get there and i get in the room and there's the biggest windows ever yeah. and like the showers right there i'm like what like can someone see in here like i was yeah. so creeped out by it I, I was like why are there so many I fucking like windows canada. thank you <laughs> <laughs> No, like, I feel like, like Canada's actually, like, kind it's, of chic. It's chic. It's, everyone's really nice, and it's, they have good health care. The only thing I feel bad for Canadians is, like, they don't have a lot of snacks. No, they do. I feel like they don't have, like... They have, like, ketchup chips. Yeah, but I feel like they don't have as much variety in their snacks. Or they don't have as good, like, shitty food as we do. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what you're saying. They're, like, like you, they're more European-ish. Yeah, like, you can't walk into, like, a grocery store and have, like, a plethora of options for, like, they don't have shitty Starbucks. snacks. What? I might have made that up. I but think you made they that like up. They like Tim Hortons <laughs> You're there. like, they don't have McDonald's. They don't have, they don't have IHOP. <laughs> Which you'd be surprised. I think they're... <laughs> I think they'll survive that. I don't one. think they are. I think I'm really amazing. I don't think they do. I think. <laughs> I wake up exhausted, like I always do. Yeah. And around eleven o'clock, I'm like, maybe I'll get out of bed. I'll stand up. Stand up. Look Fall over. In Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the fall. Like it's this huge waterfall. I go, holy shit! No, it was quite shocking. But I do have to say. I didn't go walk there. Yeah. Because I'm a loser. But, like, apparently when you're standing there, it, it seems, like, massive. And yeah. it was so beautiful. But I was like, these are the falls they speak of. Like, they get <laughs> a lot. I wonder if it's, like. People talk a lot about Niagara Falls. I wonder if it's, like, a spiritual experience. I wanted to learn more about it. But I just, like, looked at it from my hotel room. It was fucking gorgeous. Yeah. And you're like, I feel like I, I know I all there is to know. <laughs> and that's a wrap on Niagara Falls. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um. <laughs> and scene. Thank you, Craft Services. We did Niagara Falls shoot day one. <laughs> but you know some people who are like, I just want to see nature. Like, I, like yeah. Becca, my best friend's always like, I just like being who? around trees. Becca, your best friend? <laughs> my, 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 my college best friend. Do you have, a, like, a bucket list? No, that's no. chooky. <laughs> I don't either. A bucket list. Yeah, like a, I'm like, trying to survive today. Yeah, like I don't. Also, if I had something that was like, if I don't, if I don't do this before I die, I would have done it already. Yeah, like I don't. I'm fighting every second of my life to survive. Like if someone was like, "Hey, we're gonna go climb Mount Mount." Mount. <laughs> I can't even think of a freaking mount. <laughs> Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. I don't think it's a mountain. No, just. What is Machu Picchu? It's in Peru. (laughs) Yeah, but what is it again? Like. (laughs) I think it is in Peru. Mount Everest. Ain't got shit on me. (laughs) (laughs) On top of the world. On top of the world. Dude, we've learned more from TikTok than like all years of school. Machu Picchu? And that's why they call me you literal history teacher. <laughs> history teacher. Um, I like for example, I really want to go to Japan. Yeah. If I didn't, it's okay. I I kind of want to go to Japan too, and just like go shopping. I want to go to Japan so bad, and I want to eat a lot. I the bet things, Des we wants don't to even, go and ski. Yeah. Well, we don't even. You don't even know what we're missing. Like no, we don't. Like that's why I don't have a bucket list. Now talk like, about somewhere I want to eat their snacks. Oh, I yeah. want to go to Japan and see what all their snacks are. Oh my god, oh, they have such good. Would you shit. eat anything, or like, or would you be one of those people like, oh, that looks weird? 
No, I will try anything. But he, but also, if I try anything, that means I'm at liberty to spit anything out. <laughs> like that's, I'll try it. But you also can't come for me if I'm like, and I'm spitting it out now. <laughs> that's like, so sexual. <laughs> I re- request, no, I reserve the right to spit out anything at any time. <laughs> And go, ew. <laughs> ew, dude. ew, dude. I do have to say, I'm such a food slut. I will try anything, mm. anywhere, anyhow. Like if someone was like, oh, this is like fresh eel with soy sauce. I'm trying like, it. Amazing. I'm trying it. I'm deep throating it. Yeah. But if a guy's like, can I put it? Fr- I'm, no, absolutely not. Can I what? Put anything. it in my butthole. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you just went from sushi dinner to having anal. It's a big switch. but Not yeah, that big I, of a switch. I mean, <laughs> 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 Chris, do you like to eat raw sushi? Yes. He's like, can you please stop harassing me? <laughs> well, <laughs> you brought up anal and he got nervous and it's like it could go anywhere. I'm just saying I'm so different yeah. in bed than I am like with my appetite where you know some people are like can't eat anything. I wonder yeah. if it correlates to the bedroom. It doesn't for me. No. Like, I'm a freak. See, I'll try anything. I'm a freak in, in the restaurant. <laughs> yeah. I'll try anything and basically I'll try anything. <laughs> like, there's really no difference. If I like it, I'll do it. Because, you know, they'll be like, this is so good. And I'm like, mm, I feel like you're lying in bed. But if someone's like, this is so good at a restaurant, I'm like, let's see. Let's see. No, yeah. That's how I feel about, like, get, ordering duck. Oh, yeah. And Speaking then, like, duck? Yeah, and then, like, getting banged from behind, you know? <laughs> like, it's the same thing <laughs> for me. Do you order okay, duck? let's wrap this Do you order up. <laughs> this, was, too much. this was unhinged. It also was the Lord's Day. This is a Sunday. It's a Sunday. It feels like Monday. But don't you feel so good? Like, we record Giggly before... Yeah. People the, wake up for their before jobs on Monday. Tomorrow. Maybe we'll be out early. Um, thank you guys for gig- this. Was an especially giggly episode. Yeah. Um, sign up for a newsletter where I tell you about Bauhaus, <laughs> <laughs> and, and we are dropping something that's gonna be fun. And next Monday. Next it's, Monday. We keep. We really we Easter egg we it too, soon. It too soon. <laughs> no, we're, like- we're committed to this fucking bit, <laughs> and we can't get out of it. Oh, also, if you're in London or Dublin, I added a second show, so check those out. Um, also, I'm going to Portchester. And if you can find that, you get a free ticket. <laughs> <laughs> if you can find it on a map. Okay, thanks for giving me a buzz. Bye. <laughs>